What's up, DC Nation? Back with another review of The Flash. And guys, in this video, I'll be covering Flash number 762. This is the final issue of Joshua Williams' whole entire run. Guys, this whole run has been 101 issues. It's been a pretty awesome run. I actually started reviewing it at issue number 88. I think, yeah, it's going on Paradox, all right? And I've been loving it ever since, all right? It's been an awesome whole run. We have Paradox or The Flash Age. We have Legion of Zoom, we have Fish Line, and not to mention, before the whole Paradox thing, we had like the Rogue's Reign story arc, we had Flash War, like come on, Flash War was freaking awesome. We had so many great arcs, and we had Godspeed, we had the Trickster arc, like there's so much great stuff in this entire run, now we just gotta see Joshua Williams just wrap it up. And guys, this actually issue does kinda lead into Speed Metal number one, which I did cover that, and I'll actually link down below in the description, and I'll actually link down below in the description all my other Flash reviews, but this issue does feel a little standalone. I know some people are probably thinking, wait, Josh Williams said Speed Metal was like his final say in the Flash, which that's one of the reasons I covered it first, but I kind of feel like, yeah, you can go check out what happens in that, and that does hit more like emotional punch, like there's a lot that happens in that book, and that book is a masterpiece, but if you just read this, it is still kind of self-contained. But yeah, it's kind of referenced like, oh, Barry goes off to do something. I'll have to get to that point later in the video. But at least with this ending, if you read it, you'd still be satisfied. All right, guys. So I'm not going to waste your time anymore. Let's dive into the final issue of Josh Williams' Flash run. Flash number 762 opens up. We see the lightning that hit Barry Allen. It's coming through and it hits him once again. But Barry monologue to set the start as an idea, a childhood dream come to life. Then being the Flash became bigger than I ever imagined. The Flash began to represent hope and optimism in the world. When you see a red blurb run past, you think about the fastest man alive. But you also think about the great hero who sacrificed himself to save the multiverse. The hero who defies science and nature to save lives. Who came back from the dead to continue his mission of making sure no one has to suffer like, suffer like he once did. But, behind all that is a man who makes mistakes. Ever, ever since that day, I was hit by lightning in the lab. People have told me who and what the Flash is supposed to be. Being a scientist is in my nature to ask questions. And the thought that always races through my mind is, has the ledge of the Flash become too much for me to live up to? And often, I wonder if I even want to. So, guys, what's happening here is Barry's wondering like, wait, is being the Flash actually what I want to do? And is it good to be the Flash? Is he actually add like something good to the whole world? Now, then we continue and we actually pretty much pick up where we left off last issue. Now guys, if you've not been following any of this series, I'm not really going to recap anything since the final issue, but I'll just tell you this is the final battle between Flash and Reverse Flash. All the Flash family have just taken down a bunch of uh, Barry Allen's villains, and it's just this one final fight between Barry and Eobard Thong. And it's pretty interesting how Josh Williams wraps it up. Now, what we see, guys, is you see Barry chasing Reverse Flash. And Reverse Flash says, This is it, Barry, the fish line. Do or die time. Soon I'll be back in the 25th century where I'll learn new ways to torture you and your family. Or we can just skip all that and together we never stop running. Now, Barry says, What are you talking about? And Eobard says, And you and I are trapped in a loop. Death and rebirth, and every time the universe is rebuilt, there's one constant. You and me. And he continues to say, I've seen the future. It's horrible. Crisis after crisis. The horrors ahead are greater than any you've seen before. The last time you were gone, you missed so much heartbreak. I offer you that again. You can run alongside me in the Speed Force forever. It's the only way to stop the suffering I'll inflict on you and your family. Now, Barry catches Rush Flash by the neck, catches him by the head, and Ebar says, or you can kill me again after I killed your mother and ruined the lives of the Flash family. It's the least you do. And Barry says, this must end. And Ebar says, do it, Barry. Let's relive history together again. Just a little twist. Just like I did with Godspeed. Go on. Kill me. And guys, you remember, Reverse Flash broke Godspeed's neck. So uh, Ebar wants Barry to do the same to him. But that's what Barry just lets go. And he says, no, I'm done making the same mistakes I did in the past. Reverse Flash goes hurtling through the Speed Force, but he catches himself. Oh, Barry, you must feel that doubt set in. How much of your life was me? How many of those mistakes were me whispering in your ear? How much of your life has been controlled by me? You might have kicked me out of your mind, but I'll be in your head forever. 
One time I was free, I killed your mother. Who knows what I'll come up with this time. Come on, Barry, let your hate for me guide you. And guys, Barry then says, it's time for me to do something different, something new, Eobard. And he says, I forgive you. And Eobard says, you what? And Barry says, you're right, Eobard, you and I are trapped in a loop. I've tried to move forward so many times. I've forgiven myself for my own actions, tried to live my life in a way so that I can help others. But maybe I'm stuck in the cycle because you are still trapped in the past. And it's my hate for you that keeps me tethered to you. I have to let that go. Eobard says, you don't get to forgive me. I won't let you do this. Your, ent your entire life is about me. You are the Flash because of me. Without me, you are nothing. And Barry puts back on his mask. He says, I'm sorry I rejected you when we met first. Reverse Flash races at Barry and says, our race will never end. And that Barry says, but I can't let you or what you did define me anymore. Eobard says, our hate is forever. But that's when he goes to punch Barry, but he just faces through. And Eobard says, you vibrate. I felt an energy. And Barry says, I pulled the speed force into myself, just like I did when I created the Flashpoint. When you tried to take over my body, you gave me an idea. Eobard says, what? Well, what did you do to me? And Barry says, I can never save my mother, but I can save you. I'll give you what you took from me, peace. Uh, Eobard says, you grounded me. And Barry says, I vibrated to allow some of my speed force to stay with you. Eobard says, you could have damaged your connection to the speed force. And Barry says, it's just a power, Thon. It was worth the w risk. You need a lightning rod. And now you have one, me. Eobard says, I was a paradox. And that helped me avoid all the changes in time. But this, this resets me. And Barry says, yeah. And Eobard says, but this won't reset your past. And Barry says, I know. Goodbye, Thon. And Barry races off. That's when we see Eobard. He slowly just disintegrates, disappears. But before he uh, disappears, he says, Don't you dare run away from me, Barry. The last time this happened, I forgot everything. Please, I know. He shouts, and he's gone. Now, guys, what's really interesting here, just seeing Barry just ground reverse flash and pretty much just erase him and reset everything. So what we see next is like Eobard is now back in the future. He's just a regular guy. But I really like this because, one, it's a change of pace. It's a twist. It's not just, oh, Barry just lets him go. Like, we actually see Barry do something other than kill him, other than let him go. He just grounds him and gets rid of his enemy without, like, killing him in a way that's like, doesn't help the situation, right? Now, we see in the 25th century, we see Eobar Thong. He says, greetings, my name is Eobar Thong, curator of the legendary Flash Museum. So he's pretty much like a tour guide, right? And he says to these kids, and I'm your tour guide today. The Flash was a 20th century hero named Jay Garrick, who started the legacy and was the inspiration for numerous Flashes. My personal favorite is Barry Allen, but I understand you have your own favorites, and I promise we'll visit all of them today, okay? And they says, now at the end of the tour, we'll make a stop at the Iris West Library, where you can check out copies of a acclaimed autobiography and sequel called, and then this child says, who is that? And Eobard says, great question, that is the Reverse Flash. Now, I'm sad to say, but a lot of this information from the 21st century was lost in the Great Disaster, including the Reverse Flash's identity. But we do know that, that he played a significant role in the Flash's life. Some say he was his greatest enemy. It's hard to imagine living a life full of such hate, especially for the Flash family. It's just not a way to live. Now, Eobard says, moving on to the tour, who wants to see the Godspeed section? And we see a person off panel saying, nice button, kid. And one of the kids says, your costume is amazing. And we see Barry. And he says, bye to this kid. He says, thanks, I made it myself. Enjoy your tour. Now, we see Barry. He goes back through time to see if everything was reset. And he says, resetting thought could have unforeseen side effects, but it was worth it. As I run back through time, I see the timeline is worse than ever. But I need to see that some things were set right. To see lives return to the way they were before. Guys, we see the Tornado Twins, we see the Renegades, we see the Rogues are back. He says, all my enemies are where they should be. Thankfully, they don't remember their time with Thawne. I'll never forget Thawne's actions. It's hard to not dwell on them, but I can't let them control me ever again. And then, we see pretty much pictures of Gorilla Grodd, the gravestone of Godspeed. Now, Barry goes to the Justice League, says, The Justice League knows about the damage to the time stream and what Thawne did. I worked to make repairs to Central City, and there is a case I need to solve. The night while I returned, Heather Macy was murdered. I suspected Thawne. 
But before I could investigate, the Legion of Zuma attacked. Why did Thawne not want me to know about this case? When I returned to my lab, somehow the evidence and files were missing, almost as if it never happened. Now, we see Barry, he's just staring at this home, his original home, right? And somebody from afar says hi, and Barry says, sorry, I'm just a of your home. I lived in one just like you when I was a kid. Now, having made success. Well, it's not for sale. Barry says, not a problem. Hi, my name is Barry Allen. And Heather Macy says, Heather Macy, do we know each other? And Barry says, I don't think so. And she says, maybe another life. And Barry says, well, you have a nice day. Tell Mr. Macy that you have a lovely home. And Heather Macy says, oh, Macy's just my last name. I, ne I never changed it. My husband's last name is Thawne. And Barry says, ha, huh, well, you have a nice day. And he walks away laughing. And guys, what's really interesting here is the fact that this all comes full circle and that Heather Macy's, uh, pretty much, her husband's last name is Don. That's actually a really cool twist that's, that I can see some people overlooking, but I actually really like it. Now, continuing, Barry says, there's a part of my brain that uh, wants to know what Don's plan was to obsess over his actions. But that's what Don would have wanted. And there are better things to spend my time on now. Now, this is the whole Flash family just having like a barbecue, just chilling, hanging out. And we see Barry talking to Iris. He says, I heard his voice when he saved me from Thawne. He called for me. And they're talking about Wally West. And that's what we see him say. Iris and Jai told me what happened uh, to them, how Wally saved them from the Dark Multiverse. And he says, I'll find him, Iris. I promise. And that's when we see that insert of go check out Death Metal Speed Metal. Now, that's when Barry says, it's Justice League. And Iris says, don't they know it's your day off? And Barry says, Justice doesn't get a day off. Now, Iris says, oh, whatever, Barry, what's the call? Now, before we move on, guys, just seeing the whole Flash family just chilling, talking. Like, we see Impulse, Jay Garrick, Joanne. We see Max Mercury. We see all these different Flash family members just having a good time. I really like that. It gives a lot of nostalgia vibes to older uh, Flash comics. And... To see Barry be like, hey, I'm going to go get Wally West. And if you read Speed Metal, if you see my video on that, everything that, that comes full circle in that issue just makes the scene even better. But guys, how this issue finishes off is, Barry says, don't know yet, but that's the thing. There's always danger in the multiverse, or right here in Central City. And we see Dr. Alchemy, he says, soon. So guys, Dr. Alchemy is the next villain in the next story arc, but we see Barry says, hopefully one day that changes. And Iris says, you want to tell everyone you need to leave? And Barry says, let them have their fun. They need it more than I do. Now Iris says, always the martyr, huh? And Barry says, I'm going to grab a bike for the road. Now, we see Barry goes inside, and somebody says, now, just where are you off to? And Barry says, hero business. And this other person says, speaking of that, can I ask you a question? It's not a judgment, just a question. Barry says, oh boy, go ahead. This person says, why do you do it, Barry? Why do you go out there and risk your life to save others? To help strangers. Is it because of what happened in the past? And Barry says, no. No, no, no. I never put the costume on because of any suffering or tragedy. It's simple. I'm the Flash because of what you taught me. Because it's the right thing I do, Mom. Now, you see Barry, he kisses a ghost of his mother. Now, Iris walks it all confused. She's like, hey, who are you talking to? And Barry says, uh, no one. Just something I hope will finally be left in the past. Now, Iris says, you better go. And Barry says, I'll be back in a flash. And Iris says, did you just make a joke? And Barry says, I can be fun sometimes. Now, we see Barry runs off. And he says, living up to a legend can feel impossible some days. But because of my friends and family, I want to be the hero everyone hopes for. I'll make mistakes along the way. I'll trip and fall, sometimes in this great r race of life. But I know that I'll never stop getting up and trying to be better and moving forward. I'll never stop being the Flash. Now, guys, we see Barry saving all these people, and then we see his final splash image. And it shows Barry just racing through. And behind him is pretty much all the covers of this entire run. And it says, finish line. And Josh Williams has one last note for the fans. He says, thank you to all the readers and everyone who worked on this splash run with me. Thank you for the grace race of my life. Now guys, this is a really cool, simple ending. I really, have, I really like how Barry sees his mother, his relationship with Iris, but most of all, seeing Barry just run off, he's saving people again, and just saying, I'm never gonna stop being the Flash. That's just an awesome line. And Josh Williams with that final Splash image, a done by Howard Porter. Like, Howard Porter's artwork is amazing throughout this issue. Like, it's not his best work, but it's still pretty good. But that final image 
is probably one of the best images in this entire run. Not only because how like just big it looks, like how cool it looks, but also that final note by Josh Williams, just thanking the fans. I always like when writers do that because it shows he loved doing this run. Like, come on, he got to 101 issues. Name another writer that always that got that far. Like, there's not so many writers that actually get to say that. I did 101 issues on The Flash. Like, that's actually a big milestone. And also, just hear him say, thank you to the fans, thank you to everyone who helped him out. It shows that they're very appreciative, and shows he really loved this. I can see that in his work. Like, this is an amazing run, one of my favorite Flash runs of all time. And guys, Speed Metal was a masterpiece. So yeah, guys, this final issue, it's not like a masterpiece like Speed Metal, but it's still a really great issue that I think you should pick up if you've been following this run. And that's why I'm going to give Flash number 762 an 8.5 out of 10. I think it's a solid finale to this entire run, and it has awesome art, awesome writing. It gets me really excited for the next arc with Dr. Alchemy. Because Dr. Alchemy is actually a really cool villain that I'm wondering how it's going to be and how actually how the next writer will be. I don't know who the next writer is. I don't know who the next artist is. I haven't checked yet, but we'll see, all right? I'll still be reviewing this comic. I'll definitely be reviewing Flash number 763 because I really like this series and I know you guys like Flash content. You guys, in the comments below, so thought about this issue, just love, just hate. Do you think it was a perfect end to Josh Williams' run? Do you think it could be better? And actually, guys, tell me your favorite storyline, tell me your favorite part in this entire Flash run. I'm also going back and forth between Finish Line um, or maybe Flash War. I really like last issue, we saw all the Flash family show up and fight off against the Legion of Zoom. Like, that was really dope. But I bet if I thought about it a little more, I'd come up with a really big moment, alright? But still, guys, if you like the video, give a big thumbs up on YouTube. Make sure to my next Flash comic review. I got this series I'm doing right now. I got Flash Mark Wade. So we got two different Flash series we're doing on this channel. So a lot, a lot of Flash content because I'm a big Flash fan. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and peace out.